Hi Aries. Thank you for viewing me today, my beautiful Aries. Buna Jenna reading. This is going to be good for all placements. Sun, Rising, Moon, Venus for the collective. Welcome in or welcome back to Searchlight Tarot. My name is Elena. Here we go. The incense goes crazy whenever you guys come on. I have uh, Prosperity Begins that just flew out around the deck. Uh, patience and Planning. I always go by how I feel and the cards. If this is going to sound like your current energies, then this is your reading. Patience and planning with prosperity begins. There's things around you right now, Aries, that you need to be patient with, and it's about planting seeds so opportunities can come in. Let's see. Current energies for the sign of Aries. Thank you, Spirit Guides. This reading is for, for the sign of Aries. Thank you, Spirit. Anything else? Yeah. But I do feel they want to tell you that there's things around you right now that I feel didn't flip all the way around. That is just a little bit of a waiting game. Now, I don't know why I'm saying that, but I started feeling it. All right, you gotta be patient with yourself. Underneath the deck is partnerships and alliances. Moving on, I feel that there's situations around you right now that you're realizing it's time for you to leave certain situations to walk into new ones. And that's always a, a card of things connecting. People we love, people that we feel a connection with. New things are coming in for you. I have Rejoice and Celebration. And then I have the Ace of Cups. New things are coming in for you. That's a new lease of love and life around you right now, Aries. But there's something that you've been through and it had to teach you something, I feel, about realizing that what waits before you is bigger and better. And I always go by how I feel, patience and planning with the shadow side. So let's look. I'm just going to use the cards in front of me now. First card on my left is obstacles and challenges and then the sacred chakra. The sacred chakra is the chakra about being true to thyself. But there's things that you are going through that spirit is telling me trust in something here, Aries. If you feel that you always got to go around obstacles and challenges, come into being whom you are true to thyself, which you are the emperor, which is about patience, you know, the conqueror, stability, protection. I have material, financial and material changes, deception and envy, and the last card they gave you is memories of love. I feel that changes are all around you right now. The only thing that's blocking you is things that still weigh on your mind and it has something to do with guilt. Now, I don't know why I'm saying that, but that is what I feel that what's going on around you are changes. And when we go through changes, we have to trust in the cycle. <clears throat> what's happening is there's things coming in for you, things that are around you right now that are trying to connect you to a place of more sunshine, optimism, future, new beginnings, and abundance, because that is what I preach. But whatever you're going through right now, there's all new opportunities, it's all around you. Okay, this is a new love of lease on life. Spirit is saying that come into an energy of, I feel like they want me to tell you, be grateful for the day and get excited about tomorrow. That is what I feel. So I'm going to look at your recent past. <clears throat> it's a window for me, a few messages, a few energies that I'd like to look at. Seven of pentacles. And then we have big judgment, judgment, karma. Wow. I'll put them back in. I feel that there were situations in your life, things that you put work into that you started realizing it's time for me to let this go. I feel like you guys came into a very intuitive queen of air energy, even though you're, you're fire, but I just feel something here. Recent past and strongest for Aries. Okay. What else would you like to show me? A little bit of the strongest cards, recent past. For Aries, thank you, Spirit. Anything else for Aries? No, we completely shut. <gasps> I was gonna say they completely shut down, but apparently not. You guys, I feel I feel the energy. So underneath the deck is the Queen of Swords. Whatever you've been through recently behind you, it had to teach you to trust your intuition about the things that have been said towards you that you knew were a manipulation or people who tried to do you dirty. They wanted you to use your sword in something. Without looking at the cards, I feel recently behind you, this is teaching you something about your, your true self. 
All right, let's look. The Empress. I mean, wow. Uh, you guys came into some divine energy of just beauty from the things that have broken your heart. I feel you had to go through some things recently behind you to teach you something about your inner beauty, your nurturing energy, planting seeds with yourself and others so you can harvest something bigger and better tomorrow. You're very nurturing, getting, getting through something. I have you showing up. You guys, I have a matching duo. So whatever you've been through recently, it had to, it, I feel that it had to teach you something about getting back into your power of taking charge of situations. I have the Four of Cups. I had the Sun in reverse, but the card that flew in front of me was weird. It was Temperance. So Angel Temperance coming into your current energies, and that's about balancing, blending, patience, knowing that whatever you feel has taken a piece of your sunshine away recently behind you, new opportunities of love are with you right now. So trust in how things are connecting for you. Spirit is saying things are about to move along. And we're getting out of the retrograde right now. We're rolling into Libra season. And so everything is going to be fast forward incoming. I'm going to get your incoming right now. It's going to start rolling in this week to the next two weeks. Who do I want to use? The compass cards. All right. All right over here. And then I'll get some messages and angel messages and love crossing. I don't know who's out of these decks. I just see the deck in my head or I hear it, but compass. That is gentle gardener. And everything's wide open. Okay, I'm going to put those back in. Let's see what comes out. It's telling me that something in your world is about to shift. Your compass is ruled by your north node, but it's just telling me that you're going to be sent in the right direction for new beginnings. Everything's wide open. You're just going to start to create more, have more. Incoming strongest energies for my Aries. Thank you, Spirit. Next week to two weeks for Aries. What do you want to show me? Thank you. Anything else? Nope. They're all in the order. I shall take them. I don't know who's where, but I have strength under the deck, you guys. And on the ground is... Pardon me. I have solitude. And that is a beautiful energy. All right. I feel spirit wants me to tell you to trust in something in the incoming energies. The world is in your backhand. You're reaching out for something new. I feel the solitude card is telling me that you've been somewhere that you've learned a lot from. And now I feel it's like the world is here. It's time for you to reach out to new beginnings, new ventures. So I fail. I have slow and steady. I have goblins. Goblins. And then I have intentions. Beautiful owl on the egg with the dandelion weed, the wish weed in its mouth. But Spirit is telling me in the incoming energies, all you have to do is be a little patient, tap into some wisdom, and keep blowing out your wish. Because you are the master creators. There's things that you need to move from that they want you to just to get out of an energy of somewhere that left you in the forest of monsters. I And I just mean it's time for you to move forward with something. There's new ventures that are waiting for you. Everything's wide open. You're going to be in this energy of ready to progress forward. Oh my God. And then I have movement with the bone collector. All right. Who are these two cards? I have you guys. So I'm into the unknown. I'm beautiful. To me, this is like a card of just trusting, letting go and trust. Everything's wide open. They want you to venture into new things. Spirit is saying, you have all the wisdom. That's the dream catcher too. And in the movement is the ostrich, meaning that that is the fastest land bird. I feel that spirit is telling me that things are going to start moving forward at a rapid rate. And then there's a hot air balloon there. Like keep putting your, your manifestations out there in the incoming energies. The last card they gave you is because something in your life is about to switch the ghost lands. It's the clock. Telling me that wherever you've been through, wherever, whatever you've gone through, the clock is about to move. Things are going to progress forward at a rapid rate because I have the land bird that moves, what is it, 55 miles an hour, the fastest? You know, it finally just is, I feel you're going to be feeling alive again. Like all of a sudden, new energies are just going to come off of you. And I feel that you're going into new ventures with a lot of knowledge behind you. Spirit is saying everything is wide open for you. 
All you have to do is venture into an unknown, a new belief, a new knowing it's going to happen. The first thing things will happen. I just feel that. That's what they want to say. You're going to pull something in. The talesman. I have it with the wishing well. You guys. And then spark. And then this card literally just flew on my hand. Listen. Listening. All right. I just feel spirit of saying, listen, you're pulling something in. Get ready for new opportunities, new abundance. Things are going to start moving. You know, follow your hot air balloon. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get some messages today about the reading. It always ties it together. Is that who I want to use? Over here somewhere. Oh, I see. Okay. Then I'll roll into angel messages and love if you're dealing with somebody. But let's see who's under this deck. Messages, three of swords, the things that have hurt your heart. Spirit is saying it's time for you to go on some new ventures. The page of wands. Uh, slow and steady with the four of swords, meaning that there is something that you need to move towards that's going to give you a sense of, because that's the light at the end of the tunnel, a sense of peace. I don't know, maybe it's a new job, new career, just a different outlook, a new hobby in life going to take you somewhere where you want to be happiness freedom messages for Aries today thank you if you can tell Aries anything about this reading today spirit guides what messages for Aries thank you anything else you'd like to tell me messages for the sign of Aries thank you I had a flipper Guys, it's the Page of Pentacles, new. And underneath the deck is the Queen of Love, Divine Love, Intuitive Love. I have it with the King of Fire. And then I have the Magician. All right, this is, it's time for you to create. It's time, they want to tell you that in the next few weeks, you're going to have more of your like energy back. Like maybe you felt zapped in the past three weeks. What's coming in for you is a lot of new energy of creation. Spirit of saying, follow it. Because the King of Wands is with that. That's a big king of fire. That is the king of determination. Queen of love is here. Intuition, intuitive water energy, love energy. Something is leading you in a new direction. All right, messages. King of cups is sideways. I have it with the two of swords in reverse. Message. The only thing that ever can ever leave you feeling as if you're stuck in a crossroads, you can't move forward, is because you still feel connected to people who haven't been connected to you or committed to something. Maybe it was an old friend, an old judge. There's something here they want you to let go of. That's what the message is. Queen of Swords and boy, let go of. Use your sword. It's the intuitive Queen of Air. I have it with the Page of Wands. They want you to start new ventures. And then I have the King of Air. Now, this is messages from spirit guides telling me that this is all logic. You know, this is all visionary intuition. This is you getting eager again to start something new. I feel like you're just going to be in this power of air and just like fire. And last card they gave me is more air, the page of air. Spirit is saying, shift your way of thinking on something. Look at something in a new way, why something happened. Because you're going on new ventures. You're going to come into a lot of intuitive air energy, you guys. And this is the king, the visionary. Follow it. Trust it. Wow, that is beautiful. What you got coming in for you is just a lot of power. And Spirit is saying, run with it run with it that was a beautiful reading today aries let's see what happens next few weeks you're going to be feeling these energies trust that intuition all right i'm going to get a few angel messages i don't know where that that i don't know where that it sounded like there was a little bit of an accent <laughs> so, a few messages for aries today thank you you can tell aries anything about this reading today spirit what would you like to tell the sign of Aries? One more card. Anything else? Thank you. I want to do four cards. I felt it. And when I feel it, I feel it, I do it. All right, here we go. First card they gave me is the Eight of Raphael. That's what they want to say to you, Aries. Angel Raphael. There is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you. A spiritual quest. They gave you an eight. Now you have a nine, the nine of Gabriel. Stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibilities, environmental activism. You guys, I just kind of feel everything's about to explode. You know, they're telling you to, to, to follow something here because then you got the seven. You guys got a seven, an eight, and a nine. 
and then another nine to finish it off. Nine of Gabriel, beautiful card on your Pegasus. Yep. Stand up for what you believe in, have confidence, claim your power. It says personal power. But claim your power. Aries, that is who you are. And then Angel Michael gave you a nine to finish it off. Your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. Focus your thoughts on what you desire. Keep putting it out there. You're going to have so, I feel you're going to have so much vision in the next few weeks. Just this powerful manifestation. All right, you guys, this is what I have for you. I'm rolling into love crossing. And if you're not dealing with anyone in, or in a harmonious relationship, I was going to say affair, but you know what I mean. Have a beautiful day. And thank you for your love and support. For those of you who have been dealing with somebody, I'm going to get uh, one deck. Uh, I hear them all screaming at me. Right or wait. <laughs> they do. Pick me, pick me. Three of Pentacles. That's the card of unions. Marriage. Wheel. A wheel of fortune. Page of swords. And Scorpio. What does it mean? Somebody still dwells on all the things that didn't work out instead of the things that can work out. Because then I saw the Five of Cups. I feel that this person is going through a bit of the dark night of the soul. I don't go by signs. I go by how I feel about releasing things in their life. But they still dwell on like something that keeps pulling them down, some type of sadness. Like I feel it's other energies. I don't know why. Love Crossing. Uh, Aries have been dealing with. Thank you. Strongest love for Aries. Thank you. I don't know. Uh, there, oof. Libra's in the house. Queen of Swords. Someone who feels... You guys, these are the same cards you got. I got a matching duel. But they feel something between the two of you is locked. And you know what it is? It's truth and logic. The moon. Pisces. Yeah. They want to talk to you about something here, though. Because they're tired of being caught up in their head about some type of truth. Some type of communication. Mis something with... It's in that nature. I can feel it. Six of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, and who's this? The Five of Cups. It's just the person who dwells on what didn't work out instead of what could work out. They'd rather stand in an energy of claiming their own personal energy than to try to mend something here with you. That's their energies right now. I'll look at their intentions towards you. I have the Hierophant, Commitment, Sideways, Taurus, and I have it with someone who's having a hard time forgiving love. This is a queen of love. It's, it's Cancerian energy, but it's a very intuitive queen. Intuitively, I feel this person knows that. I feel like it's somebody who's fighting for something here. And I, it has something to do with, with something that keeps pulling them down a rabbit hole of sadness versus trying to communicate with you about something. That's what I feel. I can't help it. Uh, I'm going to look at their intentions because that's always interesting. All right, I'm going over here. Oh, we want to do the light seers. Okay, light seers it is. Their intentions meaning the strongest intentions of their energies in the next few weeks. Let's see. The wounded warrior, the sun, and then there's the queen of air again, Libra. Four swords in a bubble. I feel like it's somebody who wants to heal something with you and come back in the sun, but they're trusting their intuition and has something to do about when to move something forward with you. Their intentions in the next few weeks, they're hiding something from you because I think they want a victory. That's just shit. I don't know. Intentions towards my Aries. Next few weeks, please. Thank you. Strongest love intentions. Towards Aries, thank you. Strongest love intentions towards Aries next few weeks. Anything else? Next few weeks intentions, strongest love. All right.
Oh, sorry. Itchy. <laughs> it's itchy. Tease. Five of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. Well, good luck in getting that Queen of Budge in a tower. What are their intentions? Oh, and I have my Aries. Page of Pentacles. They want a peace offering with you. Aries, this person, I'm going to tell you right now, this person has chosen something to do with pride over ego or something of that nature. But what do I feel? I have not seen the cards. They want to mend something with you. Um, five of Wands is sideways. Can't get along, right? Six of Pentacles is sideways. And then I have the card of a reunion. You guys, this is somebody who is really having a hard time about giving. They feel like they can't be on the same page with you. Their intentions? Five of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. In the next few weeks, not much. <coughs> God, excuse me. Sorry. I just came out of nowhere. Eight of Wands is reverse. Ace of Wands. You guys, in the next few weeks, this person is going backwards with something here. I got two more cards. I can't wait to see them. I got Justice. Here comes Libra. And I got a King of Fire. Somebody who's got a plan. I feel like it's somebody who wants you to balance something with them. They have a plan. They're determined to win at something. I just feel that. I, I just feel that. I'm telling you, this person, I feel like they, they are just in their own protection of, of their own, behind their own fence of energy. But really, they're kind of shutting their own door on them. They're kind of like they're shutting the door in their own face because this person's got a lot of pride. I, I got Leo here, big pride. I just feel like there's something coming in. <coughs> Excuse you guys, I don't know where that's coming from. There's something coming in, and I feel it's someone who has a plan and part to balance something with you. They want things back to how they used to be. They're going to try to give you this little bit of Page of Pentacles. It's a little bit of a peace offering. It's trying to smooth. I feel like it's trying to smooth out the sand. You know, there's someone here who's grown discontent with having some type of victory, and it has to do with their own achy, breaky heart. You know, I feel that in the next few weeks, they're going to be in big judgment mode about when to come towards you and talk to you about something that they've been carrying around for a long time. So let's see what happens. Because what you got coming in is beautiful, Aries. Now, so what I have for you today, you guys, I hope this helped you. If it did, thank you for your love and support. I wish you all many beautiful blessings. Happy Friday, an amazing weekend, and a beautiful next few weeks.